Oh yeah, burning my favorite candle, some sweater weather. You can see a little better. Bath and Body Works. And this segment's gonna be called Who the Fuck? And it's basically just gonna be composed of encounters with people, and I just honestly have to ask myself, who the fuck? Because I honestly just don't understand. And this week, we're going to be talking about motherfucking food snobs. And not just any kind of food snobs, we're going to be talking about vegan slash vegetarian food snobs who are obsessed with this new superfood disgustingness called kale. Kale does not taste good. It is not appetizing. It is not appealing. I'd rather just eat fucking lettuce with some dressing. And now I've done some research, right? And they're saying, oh, kale is one of the, kale is one of the he healthiest vegetables. It says, kale can provide you with some special cholesterol-lowering benefits. So can fucking Cheerios. Kale, oh, you're so pretentious. It's fucking lettuce. It's essentially, it's, it's a leaf. It's a, a ground leaf, like a leaf that grows out of the ground. I, I don't know how else to ex explain it. Living in Southern California, we have this, like, whole demographic of, like, rich snobby people who are like, oh, we're pescatarian, oh, we're vegetarian, oh, Helen knows the owner, and they all go crazy about their motherfucking kale. Like, they just kale up their lives. Every meal, they have, like, kale on the side, or they'll make, like, superfood smoothies, and they have kale in them, and I don't feel like I need a superfood veggie to be healthy. Like, I could eat broccoli and carrots, and at least those kind of taste all right, right? Or like cauliflower or cauliflower mashed potatoes and I the whole obsession with kale I just don't understand so if somebody can explain that to me like honestly I'll, I'll feel so rewarded to understand why the kale obsession is so huge and maybe I'm just like not a greens person but like why why bother like I, just, I, I don't know clearly I'm not meant to get it and clearly I'm being just a little judgmental of people who eat kale so I mean, more power to you if you eat kale, more power to you if you love kale, although I honestly don't think it's possible to love kale because it does not taste good to anybody. But, uh, I mean, that's just the thing I don't understand, and I mean, that's pretty much going to be the end of uh, my Who the Fuck segment for this week. So, uh, next week, or, you know, next time I make a Who the Fuck segment, I'm thinking Walmart. I'm it's not even that I'm against Walmart. It's not even that I'm against the people of Walmart. I'm just saying you don't need lots of money to be classy outside of your home. And, uh, you know, you go into Walmart and people are just so not classy. And it's weird. And it's weird that I live within walking distance of both a Whole Foods and a Walmart in Southern Orange County in California. Because you'd think those two things just don't mesh in the same town. But that's going to be for next week and we'll talk about it more. Uh, and anyways, I gotta get to work because I'm gonna be late. So I guess I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye. -ies.